This is M2020, North Korea's new main battle tank first unveiled in the military parade in the year 2020 and subsequently put into service mass production and supplied to the troops. During the parade the tank was equipped with gadgets which were covered and believed to be mock-up. From the initial video it was clear that the modules on the tank were installed just to illustrate the technology. The sights were covered at that time, and there was no explosive reactive armor. Muzzle reference system was also covered. Now the tank is spotted with real functional modules. The commander and gunner sights are visible. There is a pair of anti-tank missiles on the sides of the turret. This configuration of ATGM is more lethal as compared to gun-launched guided missile, because the anti-tank missiles are always in ready-to-fire configuration. The launch of missile is also performed in the exercise. From the image, the ATGM resembles that of Cornet missile. The missile can effectively engage target at a distance of 5 kilometers. The active protection system on this tank is also visible. The system consists of radars on four sides of the turret with the interceptor launchers located on the turret lower side. This APS layout is similar to the Russian Afghanit featured on the T-14 Armada. It is not known either the APS is active or not, there is no information regarding the capability of active protection system, like which types of shell it is capable of intercepting and what is the coverage area. The smoke grenade launchers are located at the turret rear side. The fire control system of the tank is also new, augmented with thermal sights, metrological sensors, laser range finder and muzzle reference system. In terms of armament the tank main gun is 125mm and there is an AGS-30 grenade launcher at the turret top. There is no autoloader in M2020, because four personnel are standing at front of the tank in the exercise, indicating fourth person as loader, and the commander and gunner position are on the right side of the tank, this indicates that like western tank there is a loading compartment on the left side, in addition there are two openable hatches at the rear of the turret, it is not clear either these are blowout panels or storage boxes, with manual loading there are chances that these are blowout panels. Protection wise there are explosive reactive armor tiles at the turret front and at top, then the main armor is also believed to be composite. The tank sides are protected with explosive armor and rubber side skirts. There is also a bar slate armor at rear of the tank, protecting engine. The actual power figure of the engine is not known but it is believed to be powered by a 1200 horsepower engine used on the Sun Gun 915 tank. The estimated weight of the tank is around 55 tons. Overall, it is an achievement for North Korea that a country under sanctions is able to develop and field a modernized main battle tank.